What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Rogue and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey how you doing? Today I got a super sick video since we're approaching Christmas time. I figured I would kind of throw it back to the old style Jeff Rogue videos and we're just gonna open some boxes today here on the Vidya. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you've been around for a long time, hey what's up? How you doing? If you're new here, hey how you doing? I'm trying to build this thing back up, you know, whether that's just because I want to or because I want to make videos, really. I just want to make more videos. And the reels and stuff are fun to make on Instagram. But I don't know. It's just kind of like you don't get to talk in those, really. So just kind of miss sitting here talking to the camera, hanging out with you guys. So let's go ahead and bust open some boxes and see what's going on. If you want to know where I get a lot of this stuff, I pretty much post everything over to my Instagram, which is Jeff Rub Wardrobe. You can check that out down in the description. I've been doing this for a while. You know, I've had a lot of success. Uh, getting stuff not only for myself, but for thousands of people. So if you're someone that likes stuff, you know, let me help you out. That's really all I got to say about it. Let's try to get this thing open though. The first time I've used this knife in a long time too, it still has like so much sticky residue <laughs> on the knife from all the times I've opened boxes with it. Bow. I am coming back from a little bit of a sinus cold. Usually I'm pretty good about shaking that type of stuff if I just take over the counter medicine like after a day or so I'm usually fine but for some reason this one was kicking my butt so I ended up going to urgent care and they gave me some Tamiflu so if you feel like you had a bad chest cold uh, go get that checked out and just go get some medicine for it because uh, you'll feel a lot better. I pretty much I went last night and by like midnight last night I was feeling pretty good. Uh, looks like we got a purse. And some sunglasses possibly that might be a wallet it's just a little guy toss the box out the way we don't want that so this didn't come boxed up or anything and let's go ahead and bust this bad boy open came in like this kind of thicker plastic wrap bust that down looks like Balenciaga dust bag they certainly have been in the news lately haven't they um, but you know Balenciaga is owned by the caring company so you can't really like be like oh I'm gonna go burn all my Balenciaga stuff and then go buy Gucci and like YSL and all that because it's all the same shit but you know to each their own I got this I think probably about the time all that was popping off so uh, not like I ordered anything Balenciaga after the fact but we have it so we're gonna check it out and it's actually pretty sick This is a pretty miniature sized bag as well. Voila. Look at that gator, dude. Holy smokes. It looks pretty sick, actually. It looks really good. It does have the B right here, and then on the bottom of the B, it does say Balenciaga right there. I don't know if that'll pick that up. Super nice bag. It does come with a pretty decent sized compartment. It does have a zipper at the back. It says Balenciaga right here at the bottom of the flap. You do get a strap as well, but pretty nice overall. Just a nice green leather bag. It is Christmas time. Uh, you know, always looking to spruce it up a little bit, get into the festivities, sipping the eggnog, you know what I'm saying? But let's close this bad boy up. One more good look at it. Pretty sick. Oh, look at the inside. Oh, that looks so cool. Wow. Wow. I did pick out this color. I'm not really sure why I went with the green one, but I did, and I'm glad I did. Uh, so that's one down. Let's hop onto this other thing right here, and let's see what we're cooking with. Louis Vuitton this time. Pop the pop. Orange box. Pretty cool. QC pass sticker top left. Let's go ahead and pull this out just like so. Which brings me to another box. Inside this one, uh, it comes with a little card, some squishy sh papers, and this is what appears to be the dust bag. Oh, two dust bags. Oh, a dust bag and a cloth. So very cool. And all this stuff is branded as well. Let me open it up so you can see. Or it's actually already on the outside. As you can hear, Sneak is in here squeaking her little toy. What's she doing? What are you doing? Hi. Can you lay down so Dad can make a video? All right. 
let's keep these out. We're going to close this one. Oh my goodness, there's just so much stuff. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's get that out of there. And dust bags, dust cloths, Louis Vuitton. I'm not sure if the light setup is just different. It really hasn't been sunny the past couple days here, but my eyes are just like not liking the lights today. Damn, these look so sick. It's like black clear. Oh, it's gas. It's gas, guys. Oh. Oh, look at them. Let's put them on. Let's put them on. Dude, these are sick as hell. What the? These are dope. So it says LV right there, and then it has, it kind of, man, let's just put them on. Shoo, shoo. Man, I feel like I can see everything now. We just have to wear these the rest. Let's get a little closer so we can see a little bit closer up. I think they look cool, man. Definitely that thick um, influence that Virgil was really leaving behind whenever he was designing these sunglasses. Man, these are sick. I'm pumped. Um, I guess we could do the quick bag test to see if your sunglasses will fit in the bag. Perfect. Uh, just kidding. It doesn't close. Yeah. So as you can see, you're really not getting a lot in this bag, really just an out on the town maybe, but it does look absolute gas. Comes with the strap that way you don't just have to keep it by the clutch if you don't want to. Let's go ahead and set some of this stuff like right here. And we'll just kind of feed this through here so you can kind of see it. All right, let's move on to what else I got over here. This one, our standard FedEx box. So as you can probably predict, probably just going to be some sneakers. What sneakers? I guess we're just going to have to find out. <laughs> Damn. Come on. Come on. I'm trying. Come on. No! There we go. All right. Let's kind of keep this here so I can get some leverage. Very nice. Uh, looks like an off-white box. Oh, are these going to be what I think they are? So it looks like we have off-white shoe box. Payao. Pretty cool. Off-white tissue paper. Looks like they also sent me over some pink socks. That's pretty cool. Not bad. Can never go wrong with socks. I have drawers and drawers filled with socks that I've gotten from all these shoes. That is just another plus. Another perk, if you would. Um, ordering this way, you know, you're always going to get some extra goodies. And it's probably a good thing I put these sunglasses on because these bad boys are bright. Super duper bright. But as you can see, the Off-White Air Force One Volt in hand. And I actually did get these for a specific reason. That's because I recently bought an Xbox. So if you guys are on the sticks, uh, come play some Call of Duty with your boy. Uh, if you want my gamer tag, just shoot me a DM on Instagram. But I got the Volt controller. So I was like, yeah, you know, I got to have something to match with the controller. So naturally got the Volt uh, Off-White Air Forces. I do have the clear pair as well. This is probably one of my most worn sneakers of 2021. As you can see, it does have some work done to it. Even took them to Cozumel out the country to wear them. Um, but very nice shoe. Had it for a long time. Um, I recommend these Off-White Air Forces. I think they're comfy and the materials that they're composed of tend to last. Even though it kind of feels like they wouldn't they actually do so you don't necessarily have to get the volt colorway either you don't really need the lime green yeah. but can't uh, go wrong with some off-white especially some air forces the just plain old white air forces have always been in style i don't think they're going out anytime soon but let's go ahead and move on to this last box of the day and i'm kind of curious of what this is the little baby box looks like some baby jays oh yeah 9C. Oh boy, look at these guys. So if you wanted to, I know there's a company that's been like selling these as putter covers too. So if you golf and don't want to pay the 120 bucks, you could just buy some baby shoes and then give the other one to your buddy or sell it to him. But this is a little pair of like lightning fours that uh, just came in. This is a 9C. You can get these over on DH Gate. Um, they have uh, all the child shoes and stuff now, but these are pretty sick. 
get your little man some steppers that way he can be marching around the daycare and the playground but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for today i'm glad you guys hopped in and checked out this video thanks for tuning in with me i know i really haven't been doing these old school style of videos but i think i've spent enough time away to where i'm ready to hop back in and drop some more so hopefully uh you know i can keep the channel running as long um as I possibly can and if you want you guys can always check me out on Instagram or if you miss my old videos I do have all of those over on patreon and you can sub to Jeff for only five dollars a month helps me out tremendously helps me continue doing all of this and I'm very fortunate for all of my patreon members so yeah I'm Jeff Rowe thanks for tuning in today and I'll be back soon when I got some more stuff for you <laughs>